Hello my dear friends, here is Mad Max. Tonight we start outside on a well-known spot with a bright flashlight. You remember up there there is our tree. I can see him with the eyes. Down there there's the fence on the other side. You see a nice hot spot. You see a nice flat beam. And most of you already noticed that's one of these flashlights, this Cree things you can buy for a dollar. Or sometimes they ask you to pay $70 or 50 They claim 2000 lumens or 8000 or 12000, whatever. They lie like hell. So, what I'm trying to do today, or tonight, is to show you not to believe if you see beam shots from someone. And even if they are uh, known people, there are some mistakes with automatic exposure and uh, fixed exposure settings. So you can mess up with and bright flashlights look light look like dim and vice versa so the thing with i don't know that's 200 lumen and up there they barely reach that tree um, you all know this spot using the gt mini now look at this and you see that's the neutral white version. It has a very, very nice light to my eye. But you see this bluish beam, that's because of the uh, overexposure up there, 400 meter, the, this building. And up there, I haven't measured it, there is the school building. You can see it gets a little bit brighter. I noticed yesterday on my not so good attempt to make this video. So this thing is overexposed. It doesn't look like in reality as good as it does here. So if, if someone shows you this video of a Lumitop GT Mini, you will think, wow, what a great thing. It, it is a great thing, but it does not look like this. And to go to a complete nuts flashlight, I brought the Imaland MS12 with me. Still, same settings, same exposure. And that's low. Now go to turbo. You, you see what? You see nothing. It's completely washed out. That is was some cheap people and cheap brands show you on their massive world's brightest flashlights uh, whatever but you can notice this just white in front of us so that looks great sure but it's not real so i do not want to be light to do you so um as next content contestant you all know well tool v3 okay this one does nearly look no it does not it's not that bright in the hotspot that but the spill is that much fun to play with so no that's 200 lumens do not look like that so until now I had this my exposure on my mobile phone which is a Huawei P20 Pro on uh, on fixed and I fixed it to this light setting so the flashlight adds a lot of artificial light or overexposes it now I go to um, automatic mode to show you something different in automatic mode it does not really dim up and down because there is not enough light here to trigger it but you notice 
the tree cannot really seen or touched anymore here in spill that's not that big difference now in comparison the GT Mini switch that one off in turbo you see the beam does not look like as bluish anymore you see the better color it still does a bit of overexposure because that's how this uh, uh, cameras do work and now come on oops now the Nazi version Imaland MS12 whoopsie so that's on low, looks like before, but when I go to turbo, you see the light dims down. It's not anymore as white and washed out in this area, but we lose a lot of light behind because it's so bright in reality that the camera needs to uh, dial down the exposure and you cannot see as far as we did in the overexposed version so in this lightning it's underexposed if I bring now my GT Mini that was on turbo already switch on so that's turbo you, you, do you see the additional light no you don't so the beam is barely seeable here it's washed out by the MS-12 and the under exposure the mobile phone has to do so try to get it somehow correct so that's how I do my uh, settings usually I use the flashlight in the high not in the turbo I try to find a spot you will notice it's still in automatic mode so you see there is a dimming then I try to get one spot in front of me now I hit to fix the exposure and then I try to compare if I see on the phone screen which is really hard in co to compare with what I see here um, in reality I see a little bit more light in that area so I'd say it is a little bit underexposed but it might be uh, a good good idea how the throw is how the beam shape is so people really can get an idea how a flashlight works so up there is the barn now try this crappy cheapo thingy from the beginning you see <laughs> it's zoomed and when I'm on the tree there's no light anymore it ends up there and to prove there is the tree so I'm here with my beam I cannot even reach that 110 meters and before that it looks a little bit more promising and that's that's just playing with the exposure while recording the phone so when you have uh, pictures and Photoshop and whatever um, witchcraft they use there is much more possibilities to lie at you so let's do a last thing uh, ms12 in this exposure so you see still it's really really bright in the front but with this fixed settings we get uh, the throwback so we we see whoops we see the uh, the barn up there which was totally washed out in one of the first shots and in the automatic mode it was just dimmed down so we cannot even so see it well that's that's 
looks like a bright flashlight, doesn't it? So, uh, let's leave it here and I will add some uh, pictures and some texts, maybe I try to speak to it, didn't do that before and uh, video editing. So I hope you got a good idea what exposure does mean, what does a fixed exposure mean, how important it is when comparing uh, flashlights to, uh, to one to each other and a good tip, do not believe everything or uh, most of the things you see in the internet. There is so many liars and people who try to make something look good. So go back to automatic mode and fix it on the higher setting. So uh, there are so many people, they gain money and some other things when flashlights look better than they are in reality. So keep that in mind and I'll try to show you some more explaining pictures and example right now. Mm -hmm.